Hi y'all, welcome to my shop. Today I want to show you how to make, uh, how you can make a handy wood turner's bandsaw jig that can hold a scroll chuck and allow you to safely cut things on the bandsaw. Specialty curves for specialty uh, projects and it keeps you a lot safer. As we know, cutting round stock on the, on the bandsaw can be very hazardous because it's an unsupported cut. As the tool, as the blade starts coming through the other end, there's no support down here and it wants to spin. And if you've ever tried to cut a cylinder and had it spin on you, you'll know what I'm talking about. So let's get started. I want to give this shout out to Alan Stratton of Aswood Turns for this uh, for this idea. He he said it in my mind, and then I I just kind of thought about. It. I said, yeah, I'd like to make one of those when I get around to it. And one day I was going through a hardware store. And I saw these these uh, uh, three quarter by ten inch bolts, three for three for a dollar, and I thought, you know, that's exactly what this this jig needs. Uh, you can fasten these things on there a number of different ways, but for me, the three quarter inch bolt was definitely the cheapest because I already had a spindle adapter for an old threading jig that I'd made that didn't work didn't work all that well after I'd used it a while, uh, but I still had this. Uh, this jig, uh, this, this, this adapter. You can get these adapters from um, Craft Supply. You can also get them from Penn State very inexpensively. And they, you can get them for a 3 quarter inch by 10. You can get them uh, for 3 quarter by 16. And it's possible that you might already have an adapter for your chuck. Or for your, uh, if you've got an, uh, kind of a one-off or an older a uh, lathe that might use that, that oddball, you may already have one of those those adapters. You don't want to use a three quarter inch bolt. You can use, you can buy a larger bolt. They're more expensive. Uh, this is a size if you want one and a quarter uh, by eight. And you can also get one inch bolts, but they're expensive. So I got some scraps. Uh, this is the dimensions, nine inches across, uh, seven inches wide. And I have some uh, thin plywood I, I ripped for the base. Uh, seven inches across. I set it based on this upright uh, piece that I had. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut it seven inches square. It's already seven inches uh, wide, so I just cut it seven inches uh, tall. And then I fit it on the base in the manner in which it's going to be oriented about five inches back from the front. And then I, I grab me another scrap and I'm going to cut a couple of gussets, uh, one for each side. Uh, they're about three inches wide at the bottom and not quite as tall as the uh, uh, the upright. And after I get those two ripped, I'll take them over to the bandsaw. I find that's the easiest way to cut the diagonals. I use one as a movable fence to support the other. It keeps my fingers away. Pretty good bandsaw trick. And after I get the two gussets cut, I step over to the bandsaw with the upright. I draw a line right down the middle, and then two inches from the uh, centered two inches from the top, I cut a hole three quarter inch deep. Unfortunately, the first one I used grabbed a 7 8 inch drill bit, so I had to go back and make another one, but not a problem. Make the get the drill bit uh, appropriate for your size uh, bolt. In my case, like I said, three quarters. Then I draw a line on each side uh, tangentially to the two two drilled holes. Then I go back over to the the bandsaw, cut right up the middle and cut just outside the line so my slot will, will uh, easily accommodate the three-quarter inch bolt sliding up and down. If you had a scroll saw you could do that without having to cut right through the material but this works fine. Nice slot. Now I assemble everything with some carpenter's glue. I liberally uh, put glue on all the surfaces that are going to be be glued together and then tack it together with a with a brad nailer. I don't bother to use screws. This seems to work just. You put a, put the bolt on. Put on the nut. You put on a washer. Goes in here. 
washer gives you a nice uh, firm surface. Put one on the other side as, as well. Then you use the, the adapter that fits at 3 quarter by 10. And now you're in business. You can tighten this up with a wrench uh, if necessary. You can slide it up and down. And then that will fit a one inch chuck. Uh, obviously you could use threaded glue blocks. You could use face plates on your project if that's what it called for. If you have a different size lathe, uh, check out uh, the Penn State ad, ads in their catalog because they've got different size, sizes. They've got one that will fit a 5 8 inch uh, bolt for an old shop smith. Uh, the 3 quarter uh, works fine. Now, what I found that with my Along with my collet chuck, I wound up with this one inch adapter, so I can easily adapt this to a one and a quarter inch chuck. Let me show you how that works. If you buy your collet chuck from Penn State, it's it's got a one inch thread, but it will come with a, I believe, a three quarters by sixteen thread. So if you happen to have that collet chuck. Uh, you've already got an adapter, you just got to buy instead of a 3 quarter by 10, get a 3 quarter by 16. And there you go. Now this thing's going to be, it could be top heavy with a project, so you may have to support it. Let's see how that works. Let me just show you that on the bandsaw. When I tried to use this, I recognized that the base was a little too thin, flexed too much, so I cut out another scrap of identical thickness and glued it together, in effect coming up with a three-quarter inch base. interested in making one of these there's a, uh, a a very nice one made I'll have the link in the show notes below it's got a lot of additional uh, features uh, this is just a very very simple simple version it's good enough I think to get get me by this whole discussion of uh, threaded inserts and and adapters <laughs> threaded inserts and, and adapters uh, got you confused because you're a, a new wood turner you might check out the uh, uh, the link I'll have a, have a, above to a short video on on adapt, chuck adapters and inserts. Y'all stay safe. Come on back here. By the way, we're going to be, to be dealing with this virus for a while, so when you go outside, please wear your mask. We know it doesn't protect you, but it protects others. It shows consideration. Wear your mask.